Before we go into this next song, I felt like towards the end of that, um, I feel like somebody has a word for joy in the room. to that church you're allowed to be joyful you're allowed to worship him with a smile on your face you're allowed to be excited about Jesus 
and feed the rise. In spite of what I see, Lord, I believe. But help my unbelief, I choose to trust you. No matter what I feel, let faith arise. Let faith arise. For my champion's not dead, he is alive. And he already knows my every need. Surely he sing that first verse again. I want to give you the chance to put those words on your lips. Let faith arise. In spite of what I see, Lord, I believe. But help my unbelief, I choose to trust you. No matter what I For my champion's not dead, he is alive. He knows my every need. Surely he will come and rescue me. God of miracles come.
song reminds me of that verse that says, I worship you with my inmost being. And we can't do that if we're not willing to give everything to him, trusting him with the deepest, darkest places, 
all the things that you think he doesn't want to see because he would just be ashamed of you, the things that you're ashamed to give back to him, the things that he wants to make beautiful and just trusting that he can make them beautiful. Charlie, do you have a word? reiterate what Brad said. If you have something that you need to let go, that you're holding on to more than you're holding on to Jesus, come, lay it down at the feet. He will break your chains. He will set you free. Do not hold on to it another second longer. Come and let it go. Lay it at his feet and he will bless you and he will set you free. there's a few more um, that feel like they missed their chance because they didn't come up and so now they're embarrassed but there is no embarrassment in laying anything at the feet of Jesus in fact I am in awe that we had leaders in our church come up here and say Jesus I've been putting something before you and I'm giving it back I'm going to give my, my fear of finances back to you. I'm going to give my fear of COVID back to you. I'm going to give my love for TV more than my love for the word back to you. I'm going to give my love for anything that I've been putting over you. I'm giving it back to you this morning. And then ask him how to leave it there. Because your fear in giving it to him is that... Um, Maybe it's because you know that you need to give it to him, but you don't know how. Or because in your heart, you don't want to give it up. But he can show you how to give that up. Whether it's um, believing that you're not beautiful or believing that, that you're not good looking. 
and saying, God, I'm sorry that I've been putting down what you created. You created me perfect in your image. Because church, he needs an army. He needs an army of worshipers that are willing to lay everything down at his feet. So I just implore you um, to lay it down, whatever, whatever it is. Even if it's something that I haven't spoken, whatever it is that's on your heart, if you have that feeling in your gut that he's pulling you saying, child, please give it to me. I want to show you. I want to show you the blessings that I have for you. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army. Rising up, there's an army rising up, there's an army rising up to break every chain, break every chain. church there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain break every chain break every chain joined together we can we can overcome 10,000 do you remember the game in fact maybe you don't remember we used to play red rover red rover send someone over and if one person went over they didn't break that line but if more than one person which wasn't right went over they could break that line they could break that line you know we as a church united together in love we can break that that hold that the enemy is trying to get over the church today. He's trying to destroy the church. He wants to destroy this church, not just this church, but every church that is this Lord. He wants to destroy it. And if we join together and we pray and we love one another, that just can't happen because Jesus won't. Amen. We need. I read in 2 Chronicles yesterday. I don't have it right here with me. But in 2 Chronicles says, if my people, I can't say it by from memory. Can you? He's, he's kind of new in his Bible right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, 2 Chronicles. If, if my people, by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land now my eyes shall be open and my ears attend to the prayer that's made in this place and it's not just this place when we're here it's your body your body is the temple of the living God wherever you are you have the temple of God your your God is living within you so you are the temple for now I have chosen and sanctified this house we are a sanctified people Amen. that my name may be there forever forever 
Do you know what forever is? I don't. I can't imagine what forever is, but I know that my God lives in me forever. He lives in you forever. And my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. That's what God's word says, and God's word's truth. And you know what? When, he, when they sang that, break every chain, an army, an army. Think of yourselves together. Think of us together as an army marching forward toward the enemy. And that is in prayer. We need to pray. We need to pray. That's what Brad's been teaching for the last several weeks. Please, every day that you even think about it. You don't have to get on your knees every time. You don't have to go in your prayer closet every time. You can be walking down the road. You can be driving down the road. You can be do, doing dishes. You can be uh, hammering nails. Whatever you're doing, you can be praying. And we need to pray. The church needs to pray. Well, so with that, would you pray us out of worship today? Sandy, would you pray us out of worship? I mean, really, the whole, wor the whole service is a worship service, but would you pray over Brad and our sermon and our... Father, I just thank you for this, these people. Just let your love just unite us. Just unite us, Lord. Just, just unite us in love. That's the first fruit of the Spirit. That's the first fruit that we can develop and we need to develop. And sometimes it, can't, it isn't our love because we don't have it. And so, Jesus, we can draw on your love because you are love. So we draw on your love this morning, Lord, when we don't have it. And we, just, we are just united together. And, Father, I just, I just um, know that your anointing is on this man. Your anointing is on him. And as he preaches and as he teaches us, Lord, just let that anointing flow through him. Just flow through him and speak the words that you want us to hear, that you want each one of us to hear. And Lord, don't let us just hear them. We hear them with spiritual ears, Lord, but we walk that out. We walk out whatever it is you've placed in our heart. And we thank you for that. And we thank you for Brad this morning. We thank you for each person that's come this morning. Each person here, each person is anointed. Anointed by the living God, the eternal God. Thank you. I just praise you and give you glory because you're the one that makes this possible. Thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you.